In our previous activity, we successfully scoped a project around building a house and then determined the order in which the activities might be performed. We are now in a position to review this information in a timeline schedule, also referred to as a Gantt chart. Just as a quick reminder, a schedule is an overview of the duration assigned for each activity. Let's take a look at the schedule based on the 11 project activities we identify together with the estimated duration in days assigned to each activity. You will notice that each activity follows the last in a back-to-back -back manner. While some activities are reliant on others, and it is possible to work in this manner, it may not be the most efficient way for a project manager to proceed as each relies on the completion of another. In practice, there is often a great deal of pressure to complete projects within a shorter amount of time. Say, for example, that in our case, we are aware that summer is the best time of year to sell a property. We dearly want to achieve this with our build project, yet if we take 63 days to complete the property and then market and sell it, summer may be over. If, however, we can finish the project in, say, 39 days, we have a better shot at delivering it to a buyer during the summer season. How might we reduce the current project duration of 63 days, given we still have all 11 activities to complete? In order to reduce the amount of time it takes to complete this project, we will need to consider the existence of dependencies. Dependencies are the relationships between the preceding tasks and the succeeding tasks. In other words, if we take another look at the first three activities of building the house, which are preparing the lot, laying the foundation, and erecting the wall frames, we need to consider the interrelationships that may exist. Simply put, we cannot start activity three, which is erecting the walls, before we have completed activity two, which is laying the foundation which in turn cannot be achieved before activity one, which is preparing the lot and making sure that it has been completed. Laying the foundation, therefore, has one dependency, while erecting the wall frames has two dependencies. The key to reducing the schedule is to identify activities that do not have dependencies, or, in other words, activities that can start without waiting for another to be completed and occur at the same time as others. In the next activity, prepare your project schedule by considering any dependencies and realigning those activities that could be completed at the same time. Note that you cannot change the duration of the activities. Your objective is to consider dependencies in order to reduce the overall project duration.